Hey there, this is Rick. I hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, I just kind of thought I'd better put a personal video log up. My, my videos seem to have been quite sporadic lately, and to be honest, they've been quite boring as well and dull. And I'm kind of, I'm looking at my channel, and uh, a lot of the videos that I put up uh, recently, I, I've gone away from the kind of the the creative stuff and i'm kind of you know going much more towards the personal video logs and stuff and to be honest if i if i'm to be honest with myself it's kind of like um i don't know if i feel a little bit like i'm being a bit lazy uh, regarding the videos and I, i'm i'm capable of better so i'm sort of hoping to make a bit of a concerted effort to do a little bit more creative stuff in the future um, now I was hoping to get away uh, over the course of the the weekend um, that, that's just gone. Uh, we had basically Friday and Monday off, so we had a nice long weekend. But unfortunately, I just had uh, we, we had family from different places come down and stay, um, and also had some fairly big family dues on. And by the time we kind of got through all that. I had absolutely no time to myself whatsoever. But in fact, by Tuesday, I was exhausted. And of course, the only problem with being around lots and lots of uh, people, I actually went to a party on Saturday night over in Bath and uh, mingled with lots of people I'd never met before. And uh, I think I picked something up because, like, Tuesday, I was absolutely exhausted from the weekend and then I just came straight down with man flu. And you can probably hear in my voice now, I'm just still not right. I'm still very, very achy, still a bit, little bit, um, uh, well, the shivers, I was, this afternoon I was quite shivery, but um, it seems to be uh, clearing up now, but uh, I'm still very, very, very tired. So um, hopefully I get a really good night's sleep tonight and uh, uh, should be good in the morning. And uh, tomorrow, of course, is Friday and it's the Royal Wedding Day. Now, personally, I'm not a I'm not a big royal fan. I'm just you know I couldn't care less. But it seems the whole country has been gripped by uh, royal fever, or at least if you watch the mainstream TV, and um, there's going to be lots of street parties. I mean, the whole of Britain has been given the day off to celebrate, which is kind of nice. You know, we get a nice long weekend again because Monday is also bank holiday, so it's literally two long weekends in a row, which is kind of really good. Um, I'm not sure uh, what I'll do tomorrow. I might actually, if I feel up to it, I might go out in the van and have a little drive around and just to see if there's anything going on. Perhaps, uh, you know, sort of film it, which would be kind of, uh, could, could be interesting. Um, although in my town, they're generally a, a boring lot. So uh, <laughs> I'll be very surprised if I come across uh, many street parties. Um, there's certainly no bunting or anything like that around uh, my local area, so I um, might have to travel further afield to find anything. Now I want to say a big thanks to everybody who um, left comments on my last videos about the, I was talking about the weight loss on the last couple of videos, and uh, I had some really fantastic idea, you know, sort of ideas given to me and advice and uh, hints and tips and offers of help and that, so I do really appreciate them. Um, unfortunately, the whole weight thing has completely gone out of the window what with me being ill and and what with the weekend where everything was just kind of mental for the whole weekend and um we've got this long bank holiday weekend uh this weekend as well so i kind of sort of decided that it would, i couldn't have picked a, a worse time to uh, decide to kind of watch everything that i'm eating and and getting down the gym and uh, so what, what I've decided is I'm going to get these two weekends out of the way and then hopefully sort of from Tuesday onwards things should start going back to some kind of normality and I should have a nice clear run without these kind of crazy things uh, happening and getting in the way. So I should, should be able to concentrate on it a lot more. Um, so that's the, that's the plan for the whole weight loss thing. I've also just started up a, um, a new van fund. My van unfortunately let me down uh, last week for the very first time since I've owned it, and I've owned it for years. Uh, and it wasn't a particularly major issue. I had one of my belts decided to disintegrate. Now I'd only actually had that belt replaced two months ago uh, by the garage while it was doing a service. So the garage took it straight in and fixed it. So uh, I got it back next day free of charge, brand new belt on it. So it wasn't quite so bad. Um, but it has got me thinking about my van. My van is now, it's reaching high-ish mileage. It's on about 115,000 miles at the moment. 
uh, which is actually not a lot for a van. I mean, vans are built for kind of starship mileage, but they do, any, any vehicle does reach a kind of a threshold where you suddenly start needing to replace lots and lots of parts and it becomes a bit of a money pit. And my van seems to be approaching that f threshold. So what I decided to, I'm gonna do is start putting money aside um, this year uh, over the course of the next sort of six, eight, ten months, and uh, hopefully I'll have enough at the end of that saving period. I, I've had a bit in reserve anyway um, to go and get a newish van. It wouldn't be brand new, but newish. So it's just a case of watch this space for that. I'll probably do videos um, on my hunt for a van uh, later on in the year. So that's about it for now. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day, and I'll catch up with you in the next video. Take care. Thank you.